Today we had a very important discussion with our Prime Ministers, with our leaders before the European Council. There is a very strong resolve in our political family to fight the whole 2017 for social Europe. This is the only way to oppose populism and anti-European feelings and political movements. And all our Prime Ministers were supportive in this political line which was outlined by the last PES Council. It's important to explain people in, in, in plain English what our offers are and that we are taking care on, on, their, on their worries and uh, we, are, we are giving them a perspective because if you look at the right wing populists, uh, especially in my country, nobody's voting in favor of Freedom Party because of the great concepts. Uh, people are uh, fighting against the establishment, fighting against the system and uh, we are seen as part of the system which is ridiculous because uh, if you look for example at the government in the United States, there is uh, no party uh, which is more establishment and on the wrong side of, um, uh, of the economy than uh, these uh, right-wing populist parties, that's for sure. And all our Prime Ministers were supportive in this political line which was outlined by the last PES Council. We shall have three great opportunities to show our distinctive policy and to turn Europe towards more social Europe. The first one will be in Malta, early February, when I believe we shall come out with a strong political message about fighting for social Europe, the primacy of social rights and making Europe more cohesive. The second one will be the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the treaty in Rome and we shall also come with strong political positions. And the third one will be in the fall in Stockholm where by the initiative of Stefan Löwen there will be a Social Europe Summit and PES Summit on this agenda. But in order to achieve this turn, we also need strong institutional positions because I am very glad to hear from our Prime Ministers that we all strongly support Gianni Pitella as our candidate for the President of the Parliament. Not because of the post itself, but in order to have the tools to make Europe more social.